Hi, I am Ajay Podar. I am an engineer and a businessman. When we talk about air purification, we can measure it and we can say the PM 2.5, the particulate matter is reduced to an extent. In water purification, we can see the sedimentation. But what about electro smog, which is invisible? We can't measure it. And more than the measurement of how much is the radiation, it is the biological damage that the radiation do, does is what is of concern for all of us. So what is the problem? The problem is that electro smog is alien to the body. Body has a certain wavelength. The waves that come out of our body are random. Like you see in an EEG or an ECG. Whereas the waves from man-made devices or electro smog are sine waves, are systemic waves. Now what happens when these waves bombard one another, they cause interference and it causes biological damage to our body. When we, what we do with our technology is that we convert these systemic waves into random and therefore it doesn't cause interference with the cellular communication and it doesn't do biological damage. So we don't reduce the extent of radiation. It remains the same, the signal quality remains the same, but the nature is changing so that it's friendly to the body.